Yo, what's good? Zaza, what's good? Oh my God, it's so nice to finally get you on here. What's, How what's you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. All right. Yeah. So we have Mr. D Lock. Wait, how do you say your user name? Because I'm going to say it wrong. Uh, D Lock Nation, Locknified. D Lock Nation, Locknified. Mr. D Lock Nation. Yeah. He's one of my yeah. best followers. He's not a commie. He's on the right side of history. And he's from Chicago, like me. Twins. Yep. Shall I represent? So, Shall I represent? Yes. So he knows. He's obviously so, knows what's up. I've seen, I actually seen you make YouTube videos about my videos. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I love what you were saying. Yeah. So just go ahead Appreciate and tell, tell the people on here your story of why you ended up leaving the left. What happened with that? Yeah, I yeah, I used to I used to be a bot like uh like Sneeko said. I, I used to be a bot. I used to blindly believe that all Republicans were bad, all um uh, all Republicans were racist, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I, a, a lot of a lot of people in my in that in my kinfolk, they they vote they blindly voted Democrat. They voted Democrat no matter no matter no matter who, no matter what, no matter uh they just yeah, it was. They, I, I was. They brainwashed me to believe that um, d Democrat equates to goodness. It, it equates to virtue. It, it equates to um, morality. But it, but it, it doesn't. Just because you are a Democrat, that doesn't mean that you are honorable or laudable or respectable. So, uh, yeah, I, I believed a lot of uh mendacious thing uh just false things things that did not make sense uh yeah I, when when i was able to vote i voted for uh hillary clinton I, oh, I, just because she was the <laughs> democrat bro <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, Lord. yeah yeah when i was in college uh yeah i was i was i was super woke in, in, in college yo yeah i was in the yeah, black I mean, the black it's pretty inevitable honestly um can i ask uh, how did you feel when when you found out that Trump got elected? Were you one of the people crying online, or? Uh, I was. I wasn't. I wasn't really online like like that. I wasn't. Yeah, I was focused on, on my my school, uh, my work and stuff. So Scholar. I wasn't really, but yeah, but I but I I was. People told me that Trump was bad and he was devilish and all that. I I just believed it blindly. Yes. I did not do any research, but. Yeah, it, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can relate to that. It was insane when when Trump was elected. I was a junior in high school, and uh, teachers at that school was in there crying and acting like you know we was gonna go to war. Like I'm like, look, y'all, y'all are doing too much. And it was white. I had a bunch of white teachers. They was in there acting like they like we're so sorry. Just wanted to apologize that you guys have to grow up in a world like this. And I'm like. Can y'all stop? Like, yeah, they're they're stop. bugging. And I was, yeah. I was anticipating something happening the whole time that he was in office. I'm like, yeah, when are we gonna get nuked? I'm waiting because they was acting like something horrible was gonna happen when he got elected. Crazy. Evidently, man. it was just drama. Yeah, I was in the Black Student Union, uh, African African Student Association. Uh, all of those woke uh, RSOs <laughs> in college, bro. Yeah, I just yeah, I went to the black events. I had I had an afro at the time. I had a pick with the uh like black power fist oh, or whatever. Shit. Yeah, I was, I was woke. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I believed a lot of crazy stuff that prejudice is not racism. We can be prejudiced but not racist. Like people like Lord Jamar from the Nation of God. He's a he's an old school rapper from Brand Nubian. Mm -hmm. Like he he he's he's one of the radical people in that group. Not not all people in that group are extreme or anti white, but he I, he 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 is one of those people that that have antipathy, that have odium for for white people, that have hostility, and it it it, it is. It is to be reviled. It is to be uh, dis despised. That's insane. So, what was yeah. the the was there like a oh, a specific event that led you to look the other direction, or was it just like a sequence of you realizing that it was BS or what? I think, like as I got older, I got wiser. Like I, yeah, I started. Yeah, like it. 
I started doing my own research and my own due diligence instead of just blindly believing what everybody, what people, certain people said. So Amen. I, I, I Amen. voted for different. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I, I stopped. Like certain people, I stopped uh, associating with too because they, they, yeah, they, they were on that anti-white stuff, calling people uh, pejoratives and, and slurs and stuff. I just, yeah. Uh, it's so awkward. Like, you, you don't have to be pro. Mm -hmm. it, it's so awkward now. Now that I've, like, left that, I am, yeah. like, hyper aware of the fact that a lot of black people just, like, randomly be talking about white people for no reason whatsoever. I'm like, why are Crazy. we they white people right now? <laughs> You're being weird. Yeah, they, they deludedly <laughs> think that, yeah, they they're deluded they deludedly think that 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 anti-white racism is pro-black like nah like it's, it's weird nah. yeah you, i don't know man <laughs> like they, you know, it's it's crazy man they think they think that you have to be anti other races to be pro-black but you don't you don't have to be that apparently that's what um ibram x kendi taught them you, you you're familiar with him right <laughs> yeah he he's a clown in, in my that's candid opinion he, he he's a bigot he's a he said the 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 only the only the, the remedy for past racism is like yeah. what this guy is a that, terrorist like why the hell is he on yeah. why is he rich Do yeah, the bias. He why did he just get a documentary released on netflix that was pure propaganda by the way i watched it it was crap because he's he, he's in the oppressed group he's in the oppressed that that's why he, he gets away with this stuff and other you know what I mean? The rest of the woke blacks get away with it. Craziness. It's absolutely crazy that this double standard is just a thing. And when people like me or you bring it up, it's just like, shut up. Shut up. It don't yep. matter. You're not black anyway. Like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a revocation <laughs> of your uh, black card. Yeah, they try to call you a coon and all this. Like, they called me a coon for saying Kyle uh, def rightfully defended himself. Kyle Rednaus. You're not even allowed Crazy. to have that perspective. No Crazy. matter what evidence comes out. It's just like, come on now. Like with George Floyd, people just ignore what the autopsy has said. This nigga did not get suffocated. They didn't step on his no. neck. They didn't kill him. It's, it's the says on the autopsy, and people don't want to believe that. It's just like, what do you mean? You, well, you don't, so you don't want to accept the truth. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're they have an, they, yeah, they have an aversion to the truth. Like... Yeah. Yeah, perfect it's, word. It's, yeah. Aversion. They're literally scared. They act <laughs> like it's the shit going break them out or something. <laughs> yeah, bro. They they just want to be mad. They just want to. They just want to be perpetual victims and have this eternal victim mindset that that won't help. That won't. You won't grow with that mindset. Never. Well, let let's get into the topic since we both in Chicago, right? Let's talk about our 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 commie mayor. Let's talk about our commie mayor. Brandon Conson. Brandon Conson. <laughs> because he, he cons. That's a bar. Right oh, yeah. Brandon Conson. I like that. I like that. I think that's his new that's name for me as well because that's the, that's the perfect way to describe him. He's bugging right now, yo. Did, did you hear about... I read this on, on Twitter. Apparently, he's trying to implement some type of rule or something for where if you go to the city hall meetings they be having, they mm -hmm. want to have it so like the people... The uh, audience, the public audience, the public has to sit behind a glass wall so they don't have to look at them or speak to them. I'm like, that shit sounds pretty unconstitutional to me. Sounds like he's trying to yeah. stop people from talking. Because Tyranny. my I actually went down to City Hall for Shout one out of to the it. City Hall meetings just to hear him talk about, he was talking specifically about immigration. And this was back in September. He, yeah. Me and my husband went in there with um, Trump hats on or a MAGA hats on, trying to scare his ass because we actually got the chance <laughs> to see Brandon Johnson and the people who was in there complaining, like they they didn't even weren't even talking about the immigration. They were in there talking about their own personal shit, like, oh, I want to be a part of the police force, but I sat on GD um, at training, so they won't let me. So what are you gonna do about it, Brandon John? I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, are y'all talking about the wrong thing? <laughs> tweaking, tweaking. The wrong thing. And I know, I know, Brandon Johnson seen us with the MAGA hat on. We were standing out yep. in the public. And the craziest thing that happened was, um. A reporter or a journalist from WCCW, 11 mm -hmm. News, took a photo yeah. of me and my husband sitting in the audience and scribbled out our faces so you couldn't tell we were black wearing the MAGA hats. And it was like, oh, look, it's MAGA's here. I'm like, what <laughs> the hell? Like, so Y'all go try to edit out our faces to create some type of narrative to scare more people. And you know, dummies out here who are actually going to 
be scared. Oh, this rider was here. I can't believe the fact that Brandon Johnson can sit in front right. of the cameras and blame these immigrants being the, here the, on the the right. Republicans. This yeah, that's that is. No, no accountability, bro. Like, like, yeah, he 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 execrates accountability, bro. He 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 hates it, bro. That guy is a loser, bro. <laughs> I literally can't the, get deep that. <laughs> but it's actually not yeah. funny. It's actually really fucked up. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Hell, I can see. I've had enough. I've had enough. Yeah, he. I've had yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. So, salute to you for, for moving out of this, this 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 time, bro. It got, yeah, it, it got worse, man. Like it, the it, soft on crime policies, bro. Like that deleterious, man. Crazy, bro. Not helping anybody. <laughs> like they 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 apparently aren't even building. Like they were gonna have like apparently like migrant camps for the uh, for the winter time. They just. Gave up on that. It's cold as hell now. You you know what the weather is right now. It's cold. I got my coat and gloves and hot at this point. The only Mad thing cold. Was snow. Super hard, yes. Yeah. But it's coming. I already know it yeah. is. So, like, I feel bad for them people. I heard they leaving. I heard they going back to Venezuela. They rather be there than be here. And I, and I don't yeah. play them. It's cold as hell outside. <laughs> Wicked cold, man. For real. Brutal. Yeah, he this guy he cares more about the illegal immigrants than he does about the, his own residents, bro. The American born residents. Evidently, yeah, that, you point yeah. that out. If I see people, you you that are out, a... you y'all treat the immigrants better than us. He'll say some shit like the immigrants are black too. Those are our brethren too. I probably have to say that. I'm like, this nigga is insane, and it's actually Bugging. working. That will work for somebody. That's the craziest part. That will work for some old ass black lady. Old as black men wow. who've been voting Democrats since 1968, they they gonna keep voting for the nigga, <laughs> no yep. matter what he says. Like, like they they care more about race than they care about the morality, the integrity, the policies. They care about the wrong things, man. This you got to place higher importance on the on the right things. Straight up, people be voting. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, you, bro. Wokeness is a is a blight. It, it is a societal disease. It really is. It is. It, it literally, and I know that. I as somebody who's literally, I was at Black Lives Matter rallies downtown yeah. in the years twenty twenty. Yeah. I was radical. Yeah. As somebody who's left that side, is my life has dramatically changed. So I know for a fact that I had a disease. I feel like a completely different person. I swear to God, yeah. like, it's like, wow, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that I thought that shit was true. I can't believe I believe yeah. that. How did I believe that? How did they get me? How did you get me <laughs> like that? I ain't slow. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yeah, Jesus that's, Christ. That's... Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, look, yeah, I, I appreciate you so much, Mr. Delock. I have somebody yeah. else to request out here, but... Stay wonderful. I, I really love your vocab, by the way. You taught me like three Pre words during this Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah a lot a lot of people called to me. Uh, yeah, people in high school, they called to me uh, Mr. Uh, Dictionary, I think. Somebody in my honors uh, English class, I think. Hey, shout out to you. Shout yeah, because I, 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 I took honors in AP. I, I, yeah. People used to be like, bro, you use the big words on purpose. I'm like, no, I'm not. I forgot like, I had to dump down my vocab for y'all. I literally forgot. My bad. I gotta think of an easier sitting. <laughs> they got they gotta level up, bro. Look, but well, look, I appreciate you, okay? 